want to make music that could serve as a soundtrack for so many different people's lives. And I think that's what this album does. It opens up very sensual, very sexy, and it goes to another place of, of love and life and heartbreak and happiness. And, you know, we go to the club a couple times. I'm gonna make you dance. I'm, we're gonna cry together. We're gonna laugh together. We're gonna love together on this album. I can't really explain what it is she does. Whatever it is, it's uh, simply amazing. Head is on my chest, the sun comes rolling in. We lost it. All right, everybody, let's get ready. <laughs> Turn around. Like oh my God. <laughs> it's first of all hard to believe that I, I have a fifth album. See, I'm a man. I still remember my first album very vividly and every step to get where we are here now and it's uh every album has been about evolving adding to my musicality to my production value to whether it be lyrical content i think my voice has gotten a lot stronger she ain't perfect, but she's worth it. with this chapter five album i think a lot of what's different about this album is just within two years i saw a lot of the world that i've never seen before and I met a lot of my fans I never knew I had and realizing the impact I have on people's lives. Well, Simply Amazing actually is uh, written by myself and Naja McDowell. He's one of my background singers. You'll see him when we perform. Go by the name of Naja. How y'all doing? My pants are Walmart, my shirt's Walmart, <laughs> my watch is Walmart. Uh, my haircut was Walmart. <laughs> what do you want? I got it. It's from Walmart. The girls are work above, and I can't help but stare. And it's just a record about, you know, that beautiful love that everybody dreams about, you know? That love that if you, you had, you want to bottle it up. That moment that you felt all these emotions. And uh, it's just a simply amazing record. It, it may be a new sound to a lot of people uh, who aren't hardcore fans of mine. But I think everything is very much strategy for me and building up to the moment where as though it's acceptable for me to do a record like this. Where as though my fans don't feel as I've abandoned them, you know, to, to chase some kind of uh, success that I think a lot of people do. My name is Amadeus, a music director for Trey Songs as well as drummer. You know, it's just been an amazing experience to see him grow and transition um, into this, you know, great artist. You know, we've been all over the world, man, from Australia to Africa, you know, Europe, and just to be able to see Trey evolve into, you know, a, a, a more of a global artist and it be authentic. And, you know, it's not really like Trey, you know, not really sounding like Trey. He, he makes it his own, you know what I mean? So it's just play, it's fun to play it, man. Heart Attack got the real, like, rock groove, Simply Me kind of got a mixture between pop and rock so just to be able to play those different genres of music is, is just fun especially as a drummer soundtrack Trey songs heart attack take one my first single heart attack produced by Benny Blanco written by Rico Love and myself is a record that, that speaks on the many emotions of love the point when you know Loving someone is not easy anymore. And it's not the beginning of the relationship when you, you've had your ups, you've had your down, and now you're at a point where you're trying to figure out if you're gonna make it. You know, and that's a, a hurtful feeling. This song is about not wanting to give that up, and I've definitely felt that before. For me, it actually didn't end <laughs> nicely as the video does. Uh, and shout out to Kelly Rowland too, she looks amazing in the video. And I think uh, she, she helped the video to become the reality that it seems to be.
Well, the writing process has, has varied uh, from song to song. Uh, I recorded some of this album in Miami. I recorded some in New York, uh, some in LA. Uh, I even did some recording in Brussels. <laughs> you know, like it was, and, and even in Australia as well. It's such an incredible process to see a song come from nothing to, uh, you know, audio to now a video to now a single to a song that nobody knew that you could perform and now people are singing it like they wrote it themselves. You know, sometimes I hear a track and I uh, might write it out. Sometimes it may already be an idea. Sometimes somebody may bring an idea incompletely to me and I'll finish that up. Uh, but for the most part, it's amazing. The most pressure I have ever feel when making a record is from myself. <laughs> you know, of course, uh, you want to do better than you've ever done before. You want to get a higher chart position than you had last time. You want to sell more records. You want to put more seats in a venue. You want to perform to more people. I set goals for myself. I really don't allow other people's perception of what success is determine what my thought process is towards making music or the way I live my life but I do put pressure on myself to be better than I was before. You've been a witness to a spectacular happening. Uh, shout out to all the people that came from Walmart. Uh, show love, uh, great direction, great production. Amazing, uh, thank you to my band. Thank you to all my fans watching this right now. I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, chapter five. Believe that.